What's going on, guys? This is Cloud Makes a Switch. Switch, 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 switch. Cloud making a switch. Anyway, after yesterday's live direct and calming down, I am able to give a more sophisticated analysis and recap on what we just witnessed here. Now, I ain't gonna lie. When I first seen it, I seemed like I was a little bit tripping on it. And it showed a lot of stuff. But overall, after dwelling on it and thinking, you know what? It's going to get better next year. Um, and I'm pretty overall optimistic on what's going on. But I am hyped for a few things here. I'm hyped for a few things here. Hyped for Xenover, uh, a Xeno, a Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Getting that. Hyped for Xenoverse. Uh, that's DBZ. But uh, Mario Odyssey looks beautiful. Very good game. Um, I just know too much about it now. Nintendo's showing way too much. It's it's a little bit saddening. They like a lot showed a lot. <coughs> <coughs> Project Off the Path demo is out right now. Go play that. That game is amazing. Go play it, boy. What you thinking for? What you waiting for? Play that game. I've been playing Splatoon 2. Check me out. Hit me up. You can go to my video. In my previous video, I have my Switch. Uh, friend code add me on the switch also there's this one game in particular that i'm really interested in now i i call it the league of legends ripoff until i realized the makers of league of legends the owners of them all the owners made and published this game and it is called arena of Val. arena is it called arena Hold on. Switch mobile. This is how I find out what it's called. It's called Arena of Valor, dudes. And this is gonna be insane, bro. This game is gonna be insane. I did my research on it. I'm a big League of Legends fan. I am hyped for some Arena of Valor, alright? It's coming out this winter. I don't know if that means this year or does it mean next year. It says this winter or it just says winter. I don't know. I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but I am hyped for L.A. Noir. We've got Doom, a lot of people are happy about Doom. Wolfenstein 2, definitely a plus. See, I'm at the point where I don't want to buy any more games unless it's for the Switch. The Switch is just, like, if I'm going to buy a game, I'm not going to buy a game on my PS4 anymore. Uh, unless there's something, like, really exclusive. Like, if Kingdom Hearts 3 don't come to Switch, sorry, I'm getting it on my PS4. Because it's damn sure not going to be on PC. Um... But example, like, I'll buy PSVR games because I got the PSVR. You can check me out on my main channel. I've done v VR games of the PSVR and I played through. I did Resident Evil 7 fully. But anyway, that's my main channel. Um, we're going to switch here. But I'm saying, like, for example, I'm not going to um, buy um, more, like, you know, more or less PS4 games because the Switch is just so perfect as a hybrid console to me. Where it's like games like Wolfenstein 2 that's probably going to be at the same release date as the rest of them. I'm going to just buy it on the Switch so I can just portable and on the go. I mean, yeah, portable and home. Like, you know what I mean? It's not going to be the best um, compared to PC or PS4. But the portable is a huge selling factor. I don't care who you are, what you say. That makes the difference. Right now, Switch has the advantage because it is both. You can take it on the go. You can play it at home, on the TV. On the go, on the TV, on the go, on the TV. It's just way better, bro. 2K18, a lot of people picking it up. A lot of people, I know a lot of people, like my homie, that only plays sports games. He bought a Switch just to play 2K18 on the go, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, and and then I know other sport fans, like other YouTubers, go check them out. They're buying um, 2K18 on the Switch and on the PS4, just so they can play both. So, <coughs> that's going to move units. I'm hyped for L.A. Noir. I'm picking that up just to support Rockstar because I would love to see a GTA pop up on Switch. Or, you know, maybe Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead Redemption 1. Whatever. I just want to see some more Rockstar support. And the only way you're going to get Rockstar support is by supporting Rockstar. And this is the great time because they're taking a chance to put it on Nintendo's console. They know the fan base is there. They know their games have been buying up. Matter of fact, we're going to get into some little Switch news here. Uh, Best Buy 
Mario Odyssey launch. We can skip that. Five minutes of some 2K. We can skip that. We could we do top 20 best games, which is uh, Madden, GTA 5, Splatoon 2, Legend of uh, Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8. Uh, you know, you know, you know. We can skip all that though. But right here, August in, in August 2017, Switch was the best selling hardware platform. Guys, Switch isn't going anywhere. We gotta love it. Stay tuned. Stay loving. Stay blessing. Thank God, and you know what I'm saying, bro. Thank God we live another day, and you know, and and just. You know, thanks, thankful for life. But anyway, <laughs> I was just mumbling on. But back on the topic of discussion here, being optimistic with this direct live, we got some cool stuff, man. I'm definitely picking up Xeno Chronicles 2. I'm definitely picking up Xeno Verse, LA Nor. Um, this MOBA game is going to be free to play. I'm going to be playing the hell out of that on Switch. There's just so many other stuff. Mario Odyssey. So, you know. Next year, we're going to hope to see some more stuff. We're going to hope for Smash. We're going to hope for um, the main Pokemon game. We're going to hope for all these new cool ideas. Animal Crossing, Pikmin. I'm sure it's coming. The Switch is only six months old, guys. They're not going to throw everything on us at once because you got to remember they want to have a lifespan. This Switch is only six months old, guys. It's not a new, it's not uh, a super old console yet. It's not super well endorsed yet. There's not a super expansive library yet. But there is a library being built. And this could be the biggest Nintendo library of all time, the way the success is going. I mean, you can argue, and I'm talking in the home console area, because they do classify this as a home console, but it's a hybrid console. But this could be the biggest library ever. It could beat the Wii, it could beat the 3DS, it could be everything, bro. And I feel like it could go, you know, it's still only six months old, so it's not going anywhere for, not, for at least a couple years. And maybe they'll do like a revision with some... And they'll keep the switch and it'll be like a new switch new switch something and it's just beefed up with even more specs plays all the nintendo switch games and then has the hardware to play extra games where developers will port to it or maybe it comes with more memory or something you know what i mean but anyway be optimistic there's a bunch of things coming i'm excited uh, there's really not a lot of news to talk about, so that's why this was a perfect video to put up on the channel. So I'm Cloud and I made the Switch. You can too. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all things Switch related. Whether it's Switch news, game reviews, opinions, optimistic, anything in life about Nintendo Switch. Your boy got you covered. And hit that sub button. Hit that bell notification button. Get a shout out from your boy. And then on top of it, stay up to date. Because everything's Nintendo. God bless and peace. Oh, bro, we living out here all day, clouding, switching every day, boy. Peace!